Hello everybody and welcome back to Sprocket. Today we're going to be doing a very highly requested tank. So this one has appeared in the comments more than a couple of times and I imagine more than a couple of you have uh, either been silently hoping for it or loudly asking for it. Um, so today I'm finally going to be uh, giving in, uh, I guess, to those demands and we're going to be building a, like, MBT, finally. Um, and so, because I am not too confident building a proper modern MBT yet, uh, I've gone for like a 60s MBT, which is a bit of a cop out, but we're talking uh, like M48 patterns, um, the Leopard 1, the Chieftain um, tank, and this will heavily be inspired by the Chieftain tank, which I'm sure you will see throughout this video. Um, and you're gonna have to bear with me on this one, because this was some very unfamiliar territory, and I really didn't know what to do to add the kind of detail that was needed to break this up, because a lot of World War II tanks, um, you can kind of get away with almost a little bit less detail, because in their inherent design, there's a lot of nuance. Um, like, you can have so many different ideas for how a World War Tank, World War II tank is built, and so many different build methodologies, you know, cast, rolled, homogenous, riveted. Uh, by the Cold War, we kind of worked out what was good, and so... Uh, in order to make up for that, you kind of need to fill the space on your tank, make it look like it's been lived in. Uh, otherwise, it looks very flat and very plain, and that is kind of how real tanks look. Uh, I don't know if anyone agrees with this or gets where I'm coming from, but yeah, it was... It was definitely something different, something new that I'd never really done before. And uh, there, you can see the turret slightly glitching out. <laughs> Luckily, we did manage to fix that. Um, quite amusingly, this uh, started out as the turret from my uh, like semi-turreted tank destroyer from a few videos ago. So, you know, uh, reusing parts <laughs> to save time. Uh, bit of a weird part to reuse, I guess, but I figured that it already had as many points as I would need to make this thing look kind of smooth. Uh, and here I am putting the gun on. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this gun's a bit high. I do move it down, um, and I play around with the barrel quite a lot, because there's, the, you know, World War II barrels, they're just, just a tube. <laughs> Cold War barrels, they started having these, you know, um, recoiled sections for something, I don't know what they do. Um, I'm assuming they're important. Oh well. <laughs> um, uh, and, yeah, I mean, to be fair, the tank is looking pretty much uh, resembling what it kind of looks like at the end now. Uh, one thing that is definitely constant for this tank is the front of the turret looks a little bit plain. Um, obviously I was basing this off the Chieftain and that has like this um, fabric dust cover over the front of the turret and over like, you know, wraps around the cannon. Um, and that really breaks up the front, but underneath that I'm pretty sure it's just, no just armor, just thick metal. Um, so yeah, uh, maybe I'm going insane there, but I, I didn't really know what to do with the front of this thing, so I ended up putting on some um, bedrolls that they added in the recent new parts update. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't make a huge amount of sense to put your bedrolls on the front of the tank, but you know what? I did it anyway. <laughs> And here we have it, everyone. So, there have been a couple of small modifications since you last saw this tank. Uh, there were just a few things I wanted to work out, so I took it out into, um, like, some some just battles off camera uh, in order to work out any bugs and glitches so we can just show you the tank in full operational glory. And it is glorious. 58 tons of... Uh, Legally distinct from the Chieftain prowess, we swear it's not inspired by the Chieftain. But it slightly is. Uh, yeah. Anyway, this tank gives me the idea that the, like, the front of the turret would normally be covered by like a camouflage netting or just like some fabric uh, as a dust cover for the gun. Um, and so the gun would, you know, 
not that this armor here wouldn't be exposed which is kind of why it looks a little bit plain in order to break it up a bit i've put these bed rolls on from when it was last recording uh not that it hugely makes sense i don't think they'd ever put bed rolls there but it breaks up the flatness and it looks just a little bit better regardless i think this tank looks really cool uh and it's got uh it's got some bite to its bark should we say uh we only get three of them because they are quite heavy and we're starting here on defense for the first time ever <laughs> um now it could be a little bit of an odd video this one because uh there's no way we're really gonna bring this thing back from late war this is always going to be in late war uh but maybe we can go back to the old scenarios and use cheats to set the um set the era of the scenario to late war and um and we can have a bit of fun that way either way we'll get a chance to show off this tank uh speaking of showing off this tank oh no i've missed <laughs> i'm showing off the tank but i'm not showing off my aim oh, i've missed again i am just rocking up and down on a little hill which is not helping there we go okay let's keep that up rather than the missing uh it, we do kind of have our hull exposed here so they definitely could go through um upper hull is pretty strong lower hull is not <laughs> and this 105 has plenty of post penetration damage let's just uh leave it at that um that thing has a lot more armor than I'm giving it credit for. We're going to have to load the AP here, and I'm just relying on my allies not having collapsed behind me. I'm getting shot from behind, so I think that might be a little bit hopeful. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right. We're going to have to aim better so that we can uh, help out on the other side. Okay. Um, I want to put the blame entirely on my allies there, but my aim, my aim wasn't helping. There's a lot of them directly ahead, which is pretty interesting. Uh, we don't tend to get that. Uh, those ones far left. It would be nice if we could take them out. I'm going to be a little bit skylined here, but I'm hoping we can get low enough quickly enough that it's not a problem. Did that bounce off the top, or did I just miss? <laughs> um, it feels like it bounced off the top, but it didn't come up with a non-penetration at the top of the screen. I uh, think... Is one of our tanks dead? Yeah, it is. There's another one of theirs. Gone. That's going to be a problem over there if we don't deal with it. Which we have. Where is the last tank? It's over there. Let's stop it before it gets over the border. Otherwise, this has all been for nothing. It's a panther. No, king tiger. There we go. <laughs> okay. That's a better example of this tank in action. Okay, so... Here on the Tiger mission, I'm just going to reload the AP, it's 1v7. Um, this tank is heavy, very heavy compared to a lot of the tanks we build. Uh, that is because we don't have any fancy ERA or composite armor to help reduce the weight for us. We're just relying on basically thick steel uh, for our Cold War MBT here, which is working, uh, but it does mean that our turret armor is uh, about 220 millimeters thick, most of the front, uh, which adds some weight, should we say. Uh, that has not killed him, which is upsetting. I have the AP loaded, which is why, but there we go. That one has done the job. There is a tank directly in front of us, but I'm going to kill that one while my turret's aimed. Uh, what is that? That is a King Tiger. Okay, that still hasn't had the fix to its turret, uh, vertical cannon drive, so that's a little bit of a disappointment, but I'll take it nonetheless. You can see how easy it is for us to go through their armor, uh, and this 105 really packs a punch when it does go through. Um, facing downhill is bad for me. That was close. Um... Where are they? I saw the shot. Ah, oh, there they are. Um, because this front hull is actually only 70 millimeters thick. It's just um, obviously the angle that it's at normally. You can see that's just so, so <laughs> angled that nothing is ever going to go through, basically. Going downhill, going to reduce that. They could probably go through. Uh, that'll reduce the effective thickness from what it is right now, which is, I, th I think, about 300 to probably about 150. So... Yeah, not good. 
That's an enemy over there. Uh, what are you? Oh, you're a king tiger. But thank you, fenders, for coming up and blinding me. That's unique. Um, yeah, there we go. That's him dealt with. Oh. Hi. Uh, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, those, um... Those, I imagine, will be getting a fix fairly soon. Uh, I have seen the suggestions to replace the in-game tanks with my own tanks, but I'm going to need a, uh, a tank of similar calibers to the King Tiger to replace it with maybe this. <laughs> maybe this tank could be the one. We'll see. Um, it's about the same size. It's got more penetration and more armor and more mobility, but, you know, it's, it's got weak spots. If you hit the lower plate, you'll kill it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe seven enemy tanks. We'll see what they are. Uh, hopefully they're something like the Spatter, uh, which is the correct era. Otherwise, we are just going to absolutely seal club them. I should probably reload the APHE, actually, for this uh, this bit of battling. Um, can I get hold down? Not really. So I guess I'm just fighting for my life like a man. Or in this case, a tank. Uh, hello there. Ah, they are from the previous era. That is a shame, but we'll go through with it anyway, because who doesn't love a bit of seal clubbing? Yeah, they're, they're not going to get through. I mean, they could get lucky and hit my lower plate, but I don't think so. That's his... No, his track's not gone. We reverse pretty damn quickly. Oh, they got through. Okay, they found my lower plate. Fair enough. I shouldn't... <laughs> I should not get complacent, clearly. Only five tanks this time. They're going to be a little bit stronger individually, we can assume. Um, what have we got? Hopefully, uh, this is a much better position if we can actually stay in it. But we do have quite the slow reload. Um, so maybe we can't. They're going to the side of me. Uh, let's kill another one. Okay, we failed, and then angle to get them. Side of my turret is also very weak. Uh, it is an MBT, so obviously all the armor is focused on places where you expect to be fighting the enemies, and then you save weight with the rest of the tank. Um, however, this is going a lot better than last time, in that both of our turrets haven't flown off. Uh, that was an awful shot. <laughs> they have killed my other tank. Okay, it's just me now. Um... And we are no longer hulled down. So let's not suffer the same fate as we did last time. There we go. Okay. We are o okay. We're I've said okay too many times. Um, <laughs> what, what, what do we got? Okay. Panthers or tigers, I'm assuming, is what we're going to get even with this era change. And it's tigers. Okay. That's pretty good for us. Uh, my aim... Not so much. Going to have to lead a little bit more than that. There we go. Popped his turret clean off. Always satisfying. Uh, another one over there. Probably about that range. I hit him, but on the roof. We're going to have to go a little bit lower. Um, and that's gone to the right. I think that's just dispersion that's done that, though. Oh! Okay, this is not what I expected to be the most difficult mission uh, for this tank, to be honest. Okay, this time, instead of fighting them in a long-range brawl, because the AI, they are kind of good at aiming at long range, and I'm not. So let's not play to their advantage here. Let's just wait for them and use this hill to our advantage the best we can. That's probably the best move we can do here. I've got the AP loaded, so we shouldn't have to worry about going through, even in slightly trolly places. If we hit, like, the top of the turret or something, that is always going to bounce off. But if it's only slightly trolly, we should be okay. Now, there were two tanks over there. I think they're Panthers this time. Um, can I go through the front hull? I can. Okay, that gives me some confidence. Gonna keep my eyes open here. There is a panther humping the back of that panther. I'll take that shot. That is another enemy just on my right. Lower the gun. Take the shot. We've gone through. Destroyed his engine. No, I didn't angle enough. That's just through my side armor. 
That is a complete failure of my brain. <laughs> oh, I really thought we had it there. Okay, so I have resigned myself to my fate. I have increased the armor on the upper side of the hull underneath the turret. That's a very specific statement, but I didn't want to increase the armor across the entire side of the hull, so I've increased it over just the critical area around the turret basket. Okay, we're back kind of to our spot on the hill. There is a tiger up on top. Let us take that out. There we go. Was just waiting for the hull there. A little bit more confident with hull shots than turret shots on tigers because the turrets are famously a little bit trolly. I don't know how much they are trolly in this game, but I know in other games they are very, very trolly. Um, so, yeah, just being brave. My ally has actually taken out one, which is a surprise. I didn't know if he would be doing anything from his position. Um, looks like he sniped one at really long range as well. So that leaves us with a numerical advantage for the first time ever. Um, that's my ally over there with his fenders on the floor. And there's the tiger. Okay, just gotta get a shot in. Um, just got to get... He's killed my friend. He's killed my ally. How rude of you. We've done it. We've, <laughs> we've beaten some tanks from an earlier era. How impressive of us. <laughs> Okie dokie. So uh, that wasn't enough content. Uh, it would have been a very short video. So I have been into my Discord and I have asked for some kind of similar era MBT. So what we have here are... Um, what it, it says three allied tanks and two enemy tanks, but it's actually two allied tanks and three enemy tanks. Um, we have two of our chieftain things and three uh, KPZ-70s on the enemy side. Now, I've had a look at the armor pattern of the enemy tanks to know if this would be a physically possible battle to win, and I think I'm going to struggle here. <laughs> Um, this tank is heavier, slower, with less penetration and less armor. Uh, however, we do have one trick up our sleeve, which is that our tank here is driven by a human. <laughs> um, now that one wasn't, and so it's now on fire without a turret. Uh, so, yeah, um, fingers crossed, the human aspect here does help quite a lot, which it may well do when I get around this corner. Nope. Okay, we went through, but we've not killed it. Did we take out an engine? No, it's still moving. Um, okay. Yeah. This could be awkward. Um, hello, friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're going to have a quick redo. Um, we're going to do one more try against the KPZ-70, uh, but I have a feeling it may go the same way. Um, yeah, I mean, it's... it's. I could probably have done a better job in uh, in designing a tank that could beat it, but I kind of want to stick to the, the design principle here, and, and the KPZ-70 is... Uh, I think about 10 years newer than the Chieftain, if I'm not mistaken. So, given that this is meant to somewhat replicate that, uh, you shouldn't be too surprised to hear that it is worse. But I could also be completely wrong about that, um, and I'm sure some of you will know, and uh, either be cringing or nodding right now. Um, <laughs> one of those two options. Now, unideal for this situation is I don't have as much gun depression as I would like, so... Yeah, no, it's not great um, for Dune combat. That is a side profile I'd very much like to shoot, but one I'm not going to get a chance to shoot. Um, oh, gosh. Come on. Gun depression. Just need a little bit more. Uh, that is the side of a turret. Okay, we got one. We got one. Um, my ally is still alive down there. There's another KPZ at the bottom of the dunes there. I'm not about to get flanked from behind, am I? Um, this is kind of not the best spot for me to be cresting the hill. Um, and that's not the best sign. Oh, 
yeah, we've hit a lot of armor there. Um, uh, that's the side of a turret, though. I will happily take that. Blunders from the AI are my friend today. Now, let's not get complacent, because our ally is... Okay, the ally's fine. And actually, I just saw the last KPZ. It is over this hill here. We might win. We might win. We have two chances here. That is to say two tanks. We've just kind of got to get around it. And I imagine it's got very good turret traverse. I didn't look into that. But I imagine it does. So this could be brave. But I don't have the depression to just peek. I'm going to have to go. And it's not quite worked. But it's taken out his engine. And we aren't slow. Good. No! Don't do it! No! <laughs> okay. Um, well, we have no tracks. Are they going to put out the fire? Yes. <laughs> they put out the fire. We'll call it a draw. <laughs> no, that, 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 that tank is better than mine. Um, so, yeah. Unfortunately... No shot today. And here is the part of the video where I unfortunately need to apologize to everybody else who sent in tanks for this video. Sadly, there will be no more tanks included in this video, as at this point in the recording, Sprocket decided to break horribly, and I just could not get custom battles to work again. No matter what I did, the tanks just wouldn't turn their turrets. I've validated game files, I've deleted the blueprint files and re-downloaded them, and made sure that everything's fine with the actual designs, I've made sure the turrets don't have the turret not connected, like, things showing up. It doesn't work. So, uh, pff, there you go, I only got one in. Um, but hopefully we'll get a chance to do this in the future. Um, anyway, since I didn't get to do a uh, normal outro, I'll do it here. Um, thank you for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe if you enjoyed this video. You can leave in the comments or in my Discord suggestions channel. Suggestions for tanks you'd like to see in the future. Also, all tank files for this video will be included in the tank repository on my Discord server. If they're not there, uh, remind me. Uh, I, I always forget this stuff. <laughs> I've got a memory like a calendar. Anyway, hopefully I will see you in the future. Goodbye. And a huge thank you as always to my patrons. We have Rivera, Tree Loving Mango, CamJam135, Sad Cat, DJ Pete, Yoki003, Caligo Drake, and Arul Bolstocken. Thank you very much for supporting the channel.